It is time to dance. Villanova and the University of Delaware are both heading to the NCAA basketball tournament. Yeah, NBC10 Delaware reporter Tim Furlong was there for Delaware's send-off from campus in Newark today. It's not something we get every year in Delaware, the basketball team getting a send-off to the NCAA tourney. Yeah, they're usually, I wasn't expecting as many people. I honestly thought it was going to be like the cheerleaders here, and that's it. Jameer Nelson Jr. and his teammates clearly psyched to see so many of their fellow students and student athletes out here to send them off. Thankful for the support and excited to get on the road and head up to Pittsburgh. Coach Martin Inglesby went to Archbishop Carolyn Radner. His dad is in Villanova's Athletics Hall of Fame, and his three siblings all went to Villanova. The team, Martin's Blue Hens, will be facing Friday afternoon. It's going to be a tough task, but the tourney is known for Cinderella stories when even a hen has a shot to beat a wildcat. Coach just has to keep his guys believing. Yeah, that's what I told him. I mean, why not us? I mean, we're playing really good basketball. We are very confident going down to the CAA tournament. We know uh, there's no program I have greater respect for in the country than Villanova and what Jay's been able to build there, but on any given day, anybody can beat anybody. Listen, I love Villanova. I love Jay Wright. I'm proud of all they've accomplished, but they've been there a lot. And, you know, as the Delaware reporter, I'm not going to say who I'm rooting for, but, well, you know, you get it. And a couple hours after the guys got on their bus to Pittsburgh and rolled out, the Delaware women's team got the same send off. They too were in the NCAA tournament and they too have something to prove when they play the University of Maryland Friday in College Park. They've never beaten Maryland. They're hoping to change that led by senior and soon to be WNBA star Jasmine Dickey. It's definitely going to be a tough game. We just have to go in with the mindset that, you know, we can compete with this team and, you know, we're just going to go in and work hard and um, just do what Delaware basketball does. Win or lose, it's a pretty cool time to be a sports fan in Delaware and certainly a UD alum. Great for the program, great for the kids, the environment, the town. Go Hens! In Newark, Tim Furlong, NBC10 News. Leave it to Tim to I know. have those moments, right? <laughs> I know. Not going to say who is rooting for. Okay. <laughs> we know.